There's nothing quite like the World Rally Championship, not even Formula One. Held on ordinary roads around the world, the WRC is the biggest, toughest, most exciting and thrill-packed test of man and machine in motorsports. The 555 Subaru World Rally team competed in all eight events this year, winning five to capture its very first WRC World Championship. Colin McRae became the youngest ever world champion as the 555 Subaru World Rally team sped away with both the manufacturer's and driver's titles. Today, the 555 team is number one in the motorsports world. A diameter of only 34 millimeters. This necessitated substantial changes in engine performance and output. Adapting to these changes was the focal point of development as we prepared for this season's events. The first real test of strength came at Monte Carlo. Up until then, the teams had kept their preparations under wraps. Also, the service support system changed in this year's series. A car had to survive at least 50 or 60 kilometers, even in... The series got off to a rousing start at Monte Carlo. Carlos Sainz took the lead in car number five, recording the fastest time in special stage two. But Forbes Delacruz was right behind. Colin McRae had the best time in special stage one in car number four. 555 Subaru World Rally Team used a different third driver in each rally this season, and at Monte Carlo, it was Piero Riatti. to keep up the pace and fell behind. Service support was significantly restricted during the 1995 WRC series. In the Monte Carlo Valley, the road service changed continually along the route, making the choice of tires a pressure pack decision for each team. Well, it seems that the first stage is almost completely ice, and then the next stage is 32 kilometers of dry asphalt. So it, uh, and we're not allowed any fresh tires between the stages, so I think the drivers will have to drive with studded tires on the first stage, or a wide studded tire. They'll take two tires with them in the car, in the boot, and they'll, uh, they'll use those on the second stage on the front, which is, uh, it takes the most punishment on the car. So that will be uh, a dry asphalt. McRae was running strong and steady, but he ran off the course in special stage 12 and was out of the event. About 10 k's into the sister on stage on the notes we had patchy ice marks and one left hander fairly quick, maybe fifth gear. We have obviously backed off when we had the caution for the ice, but it just, it just wasn't enough and the car just slid to the outside of the road and off the bank. In the final leg, signs held on despite electrical problems to give the 555 Subaru World Rally team a win in the very first event of the season. So it was been very hard since the beginning of the rally and we have been very close the whole the whole event. Signs dominated Monte Carlo, a full two minutes twenty-five seconds ahead of runner-up Delacour. Piero Liatti finished eighth, and the 555 Subaru World Rally team finished second in points towards the manufacturer's championship. Two weeks later came the Swedish rally. 555 Subaru World Rally Team braved the snow and ice with Carla Sainz, Colin McRae, and Mats Jonsson at the wheel. Colin McRae held up Ford throughout the second leg, but by the end of the rally, Sainz, McRae, and Jonsson had all had to retire from the event. It was a great disappointment for the team. My most vivid memory from this season was our complete washout in Sweden. Of course, I also remember the joy of winning elsewhere, but a sense of inadequacy gnawed at me when... From the snows of Sweden, the WRC moved to sunny Portugal. The Portuguese rally challenges both driver and machine. Teams showing here presages what will happen later in the series. The 
leader early on was Toyota's Yuha Konkunen. But in special stage six, Carlos Sainz made his bid for the lead, and by the final stage, the first leg was ahead 14 seconds. At the end of day one, Sainz was clearly number one. The only thing is if it is a, a surprise or a match, which you don't expect, maybe opening the road is not so good, but I prefer to open the road. I have no problem. Kankut nipped at Sainz's heels throughout the famous Rosada Super Special Stage. <laughs> Colin McRae steadily picked up speed and moved ahead of Didier Oriol into third. Then the real drama unfolded. Conklin took the lead again in the middle of the event. Then it was Sainz posting the best times and leading. The two drivers went all out during the final two special stages. But Sainz took a hard hit and lost his front brakes. Conklin was very close behind. Sainz pulled out all the stops anyway. We have no brakes, and then I said to Carlos, Carlos, we're going to win with our brakes. And now if I believe, I always believe in God, but now I have to believe even more because I think when, when you have to win, you're going to win. We've been close to go off the road, and I'm not lying, at least 10 times on the stage, but we still managed. So at, when we got past the flying finish, I didn't know what was happening, but then as soon as I saw all the Spanish people on, with bottles of champagne, then I realized we won. Sheer daring gave Sainz the seventh best time of the day and his second win. He now led in driver's points. Colin McRae finished third, Richard Byrne sixth. The fourth WRC rally was the Tour de Course run on tarmac roads on the island of Corsica. moved out front early on. But Ford's Thierry and Delacour took the lead by the end of the first leg. Sainz and Kankunen, now one and two in driver's points, fought it out with each suffering one-minute service penalties. Colin McRae yielded place to Carlos Sainz. 555 Subaru World Rally Team's drivers were now bunched in a second tier with Piero Lietti and Colin McRae following Sainz. Ford's Thierry had been running first. Engine problems forced him out just before the last two stages. Oriol finished first, followed by Delacour and Aguini. Signs, Colin McRae and Piero Liatti finished fourth, fifth, and sixth, but the team had been untainted by mechanical problems. With the WRC half over now, Signs was still first in driver's points. 555 Subaru World Rally Team's two wins meant high expectations for the second half of the season. Anything could happen now. Closing the points gap between himself and Signs in one fell swoop. <laughs> Since McRae had won twice before in New Zealand in 1993 and 1994 and Sainz was out of the picture, this rally attracted a lot of attention. The 555 Subaru drivers were Colin McRae, Possum Bourne, and Richard Burns driving for Carlos Sainz. Colin McRae drove carefully early on, saving himself for special stage 10, poured on the gas to take the lead. Mitsubishi's Tommy Mackinnon had been first, but misheard a pace note and ended up in the weeds and out of the event. Good. 
In Special Stage 19, the longest stage of the event, and appropriately known as the Beast, McRae star Sean Bright. McRae posted the best time by a commanding margin. He finished 30 seconds ahead of Oriole behind. Richard Burns had been running well, but a broken radiator suddenly sidelined him. By the end of the third lane, Colin McRae led Oriole by more than a minute. Victory looked certain. From Special Stage 10 to Special Stage 33, he took it easy, driving carefully to win his third straight New Zealand rally. His first win here in 1993 had also been in a Subaru. There's a different sort of pressure if you're fighting for seconds, uh, you're concentrating on the fight and concentrating and the, the pressure's to get some quick times and when you've got a bit of a gap then the pressure's not to make any mistakes. Colin McRae was now fourth in driver's points, and the 555 Subaru World Rally team was only six points behind Mitsubishi. There was a two-month interval before the next rally in Australia. The 555 Subaru World Rally team once again featured that golden combination of Carlos Sainz and Colin McRae. Conkerton took an early lead, followed by Colin McRae, who had won the Australian rally twice in a row. McRae held on despite damage to the rear of his machine in Special Stage 7. Carlos Sainz was driving hard and fast, but in Special Stage 8, a tree branch punched a hole in his radiator, and he was out of the event. Midway, it was Colin McRae and Kenneth Erickson. McRae overtook Erickson in Special Stage 19 once again in the lead. Special Stage 22. The two drivers jockeyed for position, running almost neck and neck. McRae finished second by the narrowest of margins. Still, McRae was now second in driver's points, and the 555 Subaru team was third in manufacturer's points. Only two events were left. The seventh event, the Catalonia Rally, was held in Carlos Sainz's Spain. The climax of the series was near. took an early lead. The 555 Subaru team was driving hard with Carlos Sainz leading the way. Sainz posted the fastest time in special stage 11. He was determined to somehow beat Conklin. Some time in two stages, but even without that two stages, he's Constantly a little bit faster than us. What's your plan with you, huh? Shoot him, maybe. Very long fire, Yuha Kunkman held on, but he spun off the course in Special Stage 16, damaging his vehicle severely and dropping out of the event. Carlos Sainz surged into the lead. Colin McRae was just five seconds behind. McRae drove flat out to put distance between himself and Oriole behind. Oh, 
ras, esa para izquierda rápido menos menos, acaba rasando en derecha, para izquierda rápido José, se tira un poco y mucho ras, abrirse. On the final day, Sainz and McRae agreed to cooperate to ensure a one-two finish with Sainz leading. Accidents and mechanical problems sidelined one vehicle after another. Colin McRae was driving flat out again by the end of the final stage, trailing signs by just nine seconds. But he kept to the agreement and finished second. Piero Mietti slipped past Porio in the final special stage, giving the 555 Subaru World Rally Team a clean sweep of the top spots. One, two, and three, a first for a Japanese car. Signs and McRae were now in a virtual dead heat for the Drivers' Championship, and the 555 Subaru World Rally Team had climbed to within two points of Mitsubishi in manufacturer's points. Toyota had lost points for violating vehicle specifications. Drivers, if they had anything to say to him, they told him they didn't want the team to order the drivers to do anything. But I asked them to make sure of at least one thing, that they beat Mitsubishi. I said just that in English. The 555 Subaru World Rally Team went into the final event of the season ready to win its first world championship. The driver's championship was now a toss-up between Carlos Sainz and Colin McRae, both far ahead of anyone else. Sainz jumped into the lead in special stage one, but radiator damage in the next stage caused him to fall back, and McRae took over, posting the fastest time for the stage. Quitter, Sainz recorded the best time in special stage nine and finished the second leg first. Mitsubishi's Makinen led at the end of the first leg but had to pull out, leaving it to Kenneth Erickson to keep the pressure on the two Subarus ahead. Colin McRae, running second now, hit a rock in special stage 12. Despite his accident, McRae finished the stage two seconds faster than Sainz, continuing to close the gap. Not bad always when you are first, it's not bad, but yeah, I think Colin is coming very very strong, very fast behind, and it's really doing a very good time. By the end of leg two, the 555 Subaru World Rally Team drivers were one and two with backup driver Richard Burns fourth. Kenneth Erickson spun out in special stage 18 and was out of the rally. Now the 555 Subaru World Rally Team was one, two, and three. Colin McRae posted a stunning time in Special Stage 13 to overtake Carla Sainz. Uh, very good. And, you know, it seemed to come fairly easily. We went. Maybe was it Carla Sainz plan to be second on the road tomorrow? Maybe it's better. Oh, no, not at all. I cannot give any second. Honestly, I, I've been trying as hard as I can. I can say much, much more. The final day, Carlos Sainz did his best to catch up. Colin McRae was perfectly focused, posting the best times in special stages 22 through 25. Victory was his. The 555 Subaru World Rally Team had accomplished an unprecedented second straight 1-2-3 finish in a WRC event, and the result gave the team both the drivers and the manufacturers' championships. Spot on.
McRae, 1995 World Rally Champion. Seems a bit strange, doesn't it? I think it'll take a while to settle in. So it hasn't quite sunk in yet? No, no, not yet. No. I think it'll be a couple of days. Colin McRae became the first British national as well as the youngest driver ever to win the WRC World Championship. 555 Subaru World Rally Team had won the Manufacturers Championship with five victories in the season's eight rallies. Consider the team had only been competing in the WRC six years. A stunning achievement. In the WRC, stock vehicles run over a wide range of road surfaces, gravel, pavement, snow, and ice. The series is the ultimate test of the inherent potential of a vehicle. The Subaru Impressive dominated the 1995 WRC series, winning five out of eight events. It proved the validity of the active driving and active safety concepts that are the very foundation of Subaru product development. Victory for the 555 Subaru World Rally Team was victory for Subaru four-wheel drive technology too. Subaru cars have the world's best technology. Next year, our aim is to make it two championships in a row. In fact, I'd like to see us win not just once or twice in a row, but year in and year out to show everybody that Subaru is the best make in the world. That's STI's real ambition.